Hey everybody, it's Kay. Hope you're doing well. So as you can see from the title, I am reviewing the love songs of W.E.B. Du Bois by Professor Honoré Fanon Jeffers. This is a history book. Yeah, I know it's fiction, but this is a history book. The story is about the history of a young woman named Ailey Garfield. We meet her when she is very young, um, about three years old, and we grow with her. We evolve and we change with her. We experience life and heartache and heartbreak and, and bad judgment and bad mistakes and redemption. We, we experience all of that with Ailey. And she is the main character, the primary character in this book. But she is not the only one that we grow attached to, that we empathize with and sympathize with. She is the crux of the story, but she's not the only one that we grow to love. Speaking of which, the characterization in this book is fantastic. Even the characters who are not primary characters in the novel are still fleshed out um, very well when when needed to be. Some of the characters are there, of course, for a plot device, but there are others who play an important role in the story, although they may not be major characters. But the way she writes all of them, you still feel like, I know enough about this character that I can relate to them in some way, or I know someone who's like this character. Um, they're characters who, oh, break your heart. And then ones you want to slap around, you know. <laughs> Ailey is one of those characters for me. I loved Ailey, but I wanted to smack her around a few times. Um, I loved Ailey, and I love her, her mom, Belle's backstory. To me, that was a very important piece of this book. And I also love the character Uncle Root. And I mentioned this a couple of times on Instagram. Uncle Root was my favorite character. Um, I love a good, strong, patriarchal character in a book. A male character that debunks stereotypes of black men and how they feel about their families and how they deal with their families. Uncle Root was strong, intelligent, loving, supportive, and caring. He was a primary root, if you will, of their family. Um, one of the things that happened in the book, and this isn't a spoiler, but there was a young woman in the book who was dealing with some things. And I was kind of surprised that in a family of women about this particular issue, she went to her Uncle Root. And that, to me, touched my heart. Because, again, you don't see, see a lot of male characters that represent um, a, a male figure in a family being a confidant, being the source of support and respect and love. You don't get to see that uh, that often. So I'm glad that she wrote his character the way that she did. The settings in the book were very good. I love the way that she took us from the country to the city, to college campuses, and just showed us what, what those worlds were like for Ailey and the other characters. So the settings were very good. The plot of the book was very good. We're looking at a young girl who grows up in a family full of dysfunction and um, trauma, but really and her own flaws and her own mistakes, but really makes her way through into becoming a character that we can, in the end, I think we really respect Ailey. Despite all she does and despite all she goes through, you grow to, to respect her and understand that you're not perfect either, but you can grow and change too. Um, the story is not told in chronological order, which was something I really appreciated. A lot of times I like a book to follow chronological order, but I'm glad that this one didn't. I, I like that she interweaved 
the past and modern day times and the ways she told the stories of the past. We get to go all the way back to the origins of Ailey's family where we're meeting the enslaved people and Native American people and white people and how they all intertwine together. And throughout the novel, we get more and more insight as to where her family comes from. Um, we spend a lot of time with the enslaved people in her family. And those, those scenes in the book were wrought with pain and heartache and heartbreak. Yeah, yeah, just a lot. But it laid the foundation so that you could really see, again, where Ailey comes from. And I wrote a couple of things down about this story. Again, no spoilers, but just some ideas that were sparked reading this book. The social climate in which we live and the actions and decisions of those who came before us have a tremendous impact on our frame of reference of the world around us. Our ancestors' journeys have led us to where we are today. That, of course, in our own experiences and decisions. But how our ancestors dealt with family trauma and drama affected the ways each generation after learned to deal with dysfunction secrets, lies, disturbing events, and truths. Sharing family history may not be pleasant, but revealing past truths and confronting them can help redirect the trajectory of generations to come. Open and honest communication can possibly prevent destructive behaviors in families and repeating history. Um, for the for the worse, actually. You don't want to repeat history. You want things to change, and that can only change with open, honest communication, knowing where you came from, and having some dreams and visions about where the family can go. Where do we go from here? These bad, terrible, awful things happen to us, but where can we go from here? I really hope this book, if it does nothing else, I hope it encourages people to delve into their family histories, um, to see where they came from, to see um, the, the lives, the, the colorful lives of the people that came before them. For African Americans, our family members weren't just enslaved people. They were whole evolved people and I hate the way that in in many cases enslaved people are portrayed. In this book she really gives us deeper glances into these people who weren't just out picking cotton or tobacco and singing hymns. There was a lot going on with with the people in this family. Um, what they had to endure at the hands of the slave master. Wow. Wow. There were scenes in this book who, that make you so angry, so sad, you want to cry. There was something that happened in this book. I had to walk away from the book for about two hours. I just, I just couldn't take it. But I am so glad that I stuck through this book and finished it because it was wonderful. It was a great history lesson. The book is about history. It's about family, race, colorism, feminism, relationships, and love. It is an epic journey. I gave the book five stars. I recommend that you all take the journey and get to sing and celebrate the love songs of W.E.B. Du Bois, who is mentioned a lot throughout this book, by the way. Check it out. Um, I do recommend listening. I loved listening to the book. Um, so if you can, do both. I think that you would really glean a lot from doing both the way that I did. So if you've read this book, comment down below what you thought about it. No spoilers for people who haven't finished it. 
or let me know if you plan to read it. But this is the story of Ailey Garfield and her family and how their family history and knowing where she came from did and could possibly in the future change the trajectory of Ailey's life. And what I really hope it does is open up open and honest communication within this family so that some of the past hurts and pains will never happen again. So I enjoyed it so much and I hope that you will too. Until next time, everybody keep reading. Take care. Bye-bye.